and welcome back to Football Scrutiny. Today we're going to be taking a look at the game between West Bromwich Albion and Leeds United. A top of the table clash in the championship between Slavin Bilic and Marcelo Bielsa. Without shadow of a doubt the biggest match in the championship this season. Will Leeds get promoted? Will Bielsa's tactics carry them there after last season's disappointment? Let's take a look. Firstly taking a look at West Bromwich Albion and how they lined up. They lined up with a 4-2-3-1, which did, in the defensive phase, convert into a 4-4-1-1 system. Generally, West Brom played with a man-orientated high press, often pressing the Leeds United goal kicks with two strikers to prevent them playing short. West Brom looked dangerous on set pieces a few times and went direct using Robson Carnu's work rate up front. Now taking a look at Bielsa's Leeds United. Bielsa chose to go with a 4-1-4-1 formation generally looking to play the ball on the ground, play forward and create space using midfield and wide rotations. Defensively they used a high press. Niketia was chosen to start up front for Leeds but he struggled to hold the ball up during the game. Banford came on for him at half time and this gave Leeds United a much better opportunity to hold the ball up as this target player relieved the pressure and allowed them to secure possession going forward. From goal kicks Phillips would move out wide to try and create a three against two in the build-up phase, with West Bromwich Albion pressing with two strikers. By moving out into the side, into these areas, Phillips could then bring the ball out and then allow them to play forward. If Karavinovic would jump out now, you can see the obvious three against two situation developing in the left-hand channel of West Bromwich Albion and the right from Leeds United, therefore allowing them to play forward and break the press from the two centre-forwards. It's a good tactic to play out from the back as the left midfielder from West Brom can't jump out. Livermore also can't jump out as the number 43 Cleach would be just behind him being able to receive and play forward. With the centre back, Bartley and Gibbs taken up by the midfielder who's come inside and the centre forward. Leeds United should be able to play forward either short or long to create progressive attacks. In this image we can see Phillips doing exactly that dropping into that wide area and having time and space. When the ball is played forward to Bamford by Phillips, you can see there the two attacking midfielders, Cleach and Dallas, are moving forward to try and win the second ball, just in front of their men. Common sight during the match. Another method of playing out for Leeds United was when the ball came to one of the centre-backs, Phillips would then drop back in between the centre-backs, allowing them to have a 3v2 in the build-up phase against the two strikers. Midfield movement from Dallas and then Cleach would give them superiority on that right hand side of the pitch. This method of playing out from Phillips dropping as a third centre back was used sparingly during the game due to the fact that West Brom mainly play with one striker. But by dropping deep it did allow Dallas and Cleach to then come inside and then become the target for White to play into and would allow White to be aggressive in playing out from the back. In this image we can see Phillips dropping in between the centre backs and we can see the overload of players on the right hand side of the pitch. White's come forward all the way to the halfway line. Cleach when he drops inside he ends up having to play the ball into Dallas so would then regularly switch the ball onto the weak side of the pitch where they have less players. The final example of playing out from the back of old Phillips again moving left and right into the half spaces to try and create superiority on one side Pereira would normally go with him, leaving space for the opposite side centre-back Cooper to have the space to move forward and play forward. Here we can see that image there with Phillips moving across. You can see that the West Brom shape is all shifted across onto that side and it allows Cooper the space to jump forward into midfield and play out from the back and maintain possession at the same time. Cleach would sometimes drop into midfield, creating that double pivot. This double pivot at prevented Pereira from stopping or slowing down the Leeds United attack and allowed them to progress. Now taking a look at the Leeds United pressing, a man orientated press. Anyone who's ever watched a Bielsa side will know that he likes to press high up the pitch and relies heavily on a man orientated press across the pitch. When Leeds would press, the wide players were given the role of pressing against the centre back. Here the centre forward would try to force the play onto one side. The ball's going to be played to Bartley because the number 14, Niketia, is using a press to try and force the play into Bartley. 
and not onto the right hand side of the pitch for West Brom. As the ball would be moving into Bartley, this would be the moment for Costa to jump and press, coming in from the defender's blind side and preventing them from playing onto the left side of the pitch with Gibbs. Of course, the point here is to force the play away from the free man to force West Brom to play into highly occupied areas where Leeds United could try and steal the ball high up the pitch. In order for the pressing from Leeds United to be effective, Leeds had to press with high intensity and of course, the timing has to be perfect. If the timing wasn't perfect for starters, Bartley would just be able to receive with an open body position and play it straight into Gibbs. However, on this occasion, he had to play it forward into Livermore, who would then just drop the ball back into Gibbs and allow them to play out. When it did work out, however, West Brom were forced to try and play long into Robson Cardew up front. Here we can see the visual example where the ball's been played into the goalkeeper and they're forcing the ball into the left side of centre back. His poor body position here will cause him problems. If he had open body position, he would easily just be able to play the ball onto the left side to Gibbs. This time, however, the pressure from the Leeds United winger onto the centre back has forced them to try and recirculate the play onto the opposite side. And of course, when the ball is played across, centre forward from Leeds, Neketia, presses with high intensity. And of course, it's important now that with this high press, Leeds can then move in and try and win the ball back due to the fact that on the left side for West Brom, that's where they have the free fallback. And Leeds are now moving in and really creating a tight press 